Lab TV travels to John F. Kennedy High School in Silver Spring, Maryland, where Navy engineers are helping kids build some very cool underwater vehicles. It's called Sea Perch. Kids learn about engineering, science, and math while they create their own water robots. It's a Sea Perch. It's called a ROV, a remotely operated vehicle. Something that scientists will use. It goes underwater. So it's like what they use to find a Titanic. Of course, these are not the same underwater robots that the Navy uses, but they operate on the same principles. It starts with building the sea perch frame. The kids use PVC pipe. They gave us long ones and we cut them, but we had to construct the actual structure. On the first day, we pretty much cut the PVC and um, put the floaters on, and the second day we started the motors, and third day and I put the propellers on. And then today we built the circuit board boxes and we labeled them for if the motors go forward or backward. To power their sea perches, the kids use a battery connected to three electric motors. These were potted in wax to make them waterproof. They also wired their own electrical circuits. It overwhelmed us in the beginning, but when we got all the steps, we put it together and it's pretty easy. In this electrical circuit, a battery supplies the power. The energy that leaves the battery must return. That's why it has two terminals, negative and positive. Negatively charged electrons travel through wires to power a load, like the motors, and then return to the positive terminal. When you flip a toggle switch, the circuit is closed and the motors spin. When it is open, the motors stop. We had to solder everything on the back. Here you can see all the soldering things we had to do. One of them is for making it go down, and one of them is for propelling it up. It was really fun putting it together. I just can't wait to see it go in the water. We just hope it works. Yeah, that's the biggest goal, make yes. it work. The kids take their vehicles to the Carterock Naval Lab to try them out. But first, the sea perches need to be made neutrally buoyant. Right, if something is buoyant, that means that it floats. So today you're going to get your sea perch to be what's called neutrally buoyant. It's not quite completely floating, not quite completely sinking. Buoyancy is the upward force that keeps things floating. It is determined by the weight of an object and the weight of the water that the object displaces. Remember the weight in the cup of water. It displaced water into my box. So here is how we find out if something is going to float or sink. If I weigh my weight and I weigh the water that it displaced, if the weight of the weight is heavier than the weight of the water, it will sink. The weight of the object is lighter than the water, it will float. And now for the fun part, some awesome underwater action. It makes me want to get into engineering when I go to high school because usually at first I wasn't that interested and then I found out that we could do stuff like this so now I'm interested. And it looks like we have a whole class of future engineers. To find out more about Sea Perch, electrical circuits, and buoyancy, check out labtvonline.org.